Hi, I'm Frankie and welcome to this video tutorial on OK Mind Map. First I'm going to show you the menu bar and this here are the submenus. Lots of commands and each command, most commands have the shortcut link, keyboard shortcut link. Okay, here are the uh, some uh, additional features. Look at the export uh, different types of export formats, import formats, advanced stuff. Okay, let's uh, look at the mind map. First I'm going to change that to Moodle. So I'm going to create a simple mind map consisting of Moodle stuff. I can actually move the uh, mind map around by clicking and dragging it with the mouse. I can also uh, scroll scroll out, zoom out and zoom in by using my mouse wheel. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to create a child node by pressing insert and uh, let's type logo. And now I'm going to convert that node into an image by going edit, right click, edit, insert image. It's asking me for URL and I've got uh, Google images here so let's choose one of these logos okay how about this one copy image URL and there you go we've got a logo of Moodle let's put in another one let's call that uh, Martin Dear Gamers there you go And uh, this time I want to show you something interesting is that if I were to select the node and right click and go for plugin mesh up, it's actually going to use the name of the node to become a search string and it's going to return for me hits uh, of images as well as videos. So I'm just going to choose uh, uh, one uh, image by double clicking on it. I just need to double click on it for the uh, picture to appear. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's right. I can actually also uh, collapse that. Uh, actually, collapse it by pressing the spacebar and opening it up again. Uh, okay, there you go. Now let's talk a little bit about videos. I'm going to uh, create another uh, node called Malacca. That's another word that starts with M. That's Moodle Martin Malacca. And I'm going to go right click plug in and I'm going, I'm going to go for mesh up again and this time I'm going to choose a video on Malacca that's in Malaysia okay here we go so I'm just going to double click and that's a YouTube video now look at that it's playing directly in the node itself yeah so I can actually zoom in and uh, that's a video on Malacca it's a revolving tower going up and down, giving the tourists a great view of the city, historical city of Malacca. Okay, uh, another another thing that we can do is I'm going to create another child node. And this time I'm going to call it uh, Twitter. Okay, let's stop the video. And uh, I'm going to right click, plug in Twitter. And I'm just going to type mine Twitter ID that's convincing, which I hardly use. I'm going to select a uh, limit of two tweets. And what's happening now is that it's actually uh, importing the two topmost tweets, the two most recent tweets from my Twitter account. And there you go. Okay, so that's from my Twitter account. And. Uh, Okay, I think uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to save this map. I'm going to save it as uh, things starting with M.
Okay, and I'm also going to uh, change the sharing settings of this iMap. I can actually uh, add the map to be shared. I think starting with M, I can choose Open, and I can select the various permissions. This is a very dangerous uh, thing to do because an outsider, someone else, could be deleting nodes or delete the entire uh, my map. So I can just select View, Pop Permission. That should be okay. Now, if I were to set a password for this uh, my map, then I would choose Type Password, and I'll type my password in. Okay. And at this point of time, I just want to pause here and say that. Uh, there is a Moodle mode, Moodle plugin for OKMindMap.com, which is uh, which takes which takes two values. One of them is this part here, this uh, link here, or this part of the sub part of the URL, and that's called a map key. And the second thing that uh, the plugin takes in when you when you set it up is the password for uh, for the mind map. Okay, so I'm just going to click Add, which is actually supposed to be renamed as Save. So the Add button actually saves the settings. And I, if you look at this uh, list here, I've got a mind map called Things Starting with M. It's password protected, and the permission is to view. Okay, so now I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to close this uh, map. I'm just going to sign out. So when I sign out, it's going to load the default uh, mind map. Okay. Uh, this is on the website itself. Let me just sign in back again. Okay, and uh, there you go. So I'm back to my account. You can see the my wife's uh, that's my wife's name there. And I'm gonna go for map open, and there we go. Okay, so let's just open back that uh, link. I'm opening up the my map that I just created, and here we go. That's it. That there, there he goes. Okay. Uh, Perhaps another thing is I can show you is that the my map can actually convert itself and it can change itself into a tree. A little bit of a transformers thing there. It's uh, morphed itself into a tree. If I don't want that, I want to go back to the my map. No problems at all. So at the blink of an eye, I changed the my map. Uh, that seems rather interesting. Okay. I can also uh, convert that into a ppt file. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, worth trying out. And uh, there you go. I can uh, all unfold. I can go for all fold. Okay, so uh, that's all. That's all from me, and hope you uh, have fun with okmymap.com. That's from Korea, South Korea and uh, looks pretty interesting.